<clears throat> What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. Dierra allegedly stealing girlfriends. <laughs> Why be attacked <clears throat> by the rap industry? Messy Monday. I don't like that. I don't like that whole the, the, the industry thing. But anyway, let's get into this video, y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. <clears throat> and today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league. So, I already read the title. Y'all already know Messy Monday is messy this Monday because Diera's in it, okay? <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can't, we can't be on mute. We can't be, can't be muted. Right, Girl, it is so much going on. What? I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot of whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot of lot of going on. It's a whole lot of whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot of lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. Okay. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'ma sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Well, this is Yes, Brave Jersey. Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? It's already February already. This month is going by so fast. Y'all, before you know it, we're going to blink. It's going to be 2023. Uh-uh. Slow down, Mother Earth. Jesus. Okay. Anyway, if you are new, hit my subscribe button so you can become a supporter of the Zone Navy. And then on top of that... And pause on me in this pickle. Don't be all up in my mouth. It's just a pickle. That hit the bell so you can get my post notifications when I post a video. But before we start, I want to go on and shout out my friend, and that is Nick. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for having my post notifications on Twitter. You were the first to comment on my post, and I greatly appreciate that. So what I am doing right now is shouting you out, showing that I see you supporting me, and now I'm going to support you. All right? I love you, friend. Thank you so much. Hey, bitch. All right, y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. We'll get into this shit and get that. Uh, don't just walk past them mics like we ain't see them. We getting a podcast? All right. Hell on, okay? So, <laughs> let's go on and get to your favorite part of the show, and that is the shit, the sugar, honey, iced tea, because you girls love mm. staying in some shit. Yeah. I didn't know how good this pickle was until I got a garlic Joe. Oh! Joe, me. Joe, me. First of the sugar, honey, iced tea, we have Shaylin and Poggi. Now, I don't know. Oh, did I say her name right? I don't know. Anyway, y'all know who we talking about, the pretty brown skin girl. And one thing about Polo G, he gonna keep him a pretty brown skin. And I fuck with that. So anyway, um, Polo G and Shaylin have been seen frolicking, honey, and just mingling and hanging out. Like, because you can see the videos and the pictures and stuff like that. And so people start speculating that they were a couple or an item or whatever you want to call it. That's what they are, supposedly. So anyway, everybody took to the internet and what they've been saying. And I gave, when I saw his picture, because I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all need to sign up for the FBI. Because how the fuck did y'all spot the rock out of the water <laughs> in our picture? And it's just, bitch, y'all really be looking. I would never thought <laughs> to look at the rock Me in either. the water. <laughs> Me either. Y'all need shit to do. Oh, God. Girl, this was before COVID. Everything you ain't got no business. Look at that. The rock. Come on now. You know what? But anyway, they've been in the same place, same locations, but not the same pictures at the same time. So, um, shouts out to these two. They are a couple. They're very beautiful together. I think they complement each other very well, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, they come out and let the girls know what the tea is giving. All right? Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Corey versus Damien. These two, I promise you, literally fuss at once every year. I don't know if it's in a country.
contract to do this bullshit. Okay. But every year they find something to argue about. So last week, if y'all into the beef or whatever you want to call it, honey, Damien had went onto his Instagram and he had posted, these YouTubers be lame and broke as fuck in real life. And I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute, huh, nigga? Ain't you a YouTuber too? What the fuck is you talking about? Shut up. So then, on the other one, he said, me and B are the real goats at this shit. Niggas is steady trying to copy our life and our lifestyle. And y'all can't see him front and like y'all didn't watch him years ago. And I can't even lie. They had YouTube on lock. But you know, people grow up and move on. And you know, when y'all was doing all that extra bullshit, folks <laughs> just fell all over y'all. Can't blame nobody but yourself. I guess Corey caught on to the shade that Damien was trying to throw. And this is what Corey had to say. I just hate you doing this. But I swear to God, I just glad, bro. First of all, I never even said nothing about the bad one. I never believed the hype. I don't manipulate this man. My thing about Jizzle, I never heard about how much money I got. Unless you tell me. And if you tell me, nine times out of ten, you tell me for a reason. But Who the fuck is Jizzle? First of all, I never even said nothing about the bad one. I never believed the hype. I don't manipulate this man. One thing about Jizzle. Who is Jizzle? <laughs> One thing about Jizzle. When the hell he become Jizzle? <laughs> Your name is Corey. When did he become Jizzle? <laughs> I never heard about how much money. Jizzle. Unless you tell me. And if you tell me, nine times out of ten, you tell me for a reason. But my only thing I'm going to look at is, I'm going to look at it as motivation. Me, mad corny, bro. God. So after Corey's response, it made me think, you know what, this is some bullshit. This is fake. They are not looking at each other. I really believe they do One this thing shit about Jill's run up a bag. And that's what they do because they know that the people are gonna feed into the bullshit. They know people have their favorites and they're gonna be invested in the mess. Why is y'all sitting out here arguing over who doing what and how they doing what they doing? If they doing it, let them do it, they get their bag. Period. So anyway, so anyway, Daniel come out with this long ass, hey, look at me message. He said, I don't hang on nobody. I gave everyone the game long time ago. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This is history repeating itself. Just a whole lot of hoopla. Like, nigga, why the fuck is you talking? We do not care at this point. Who watched it? I think it's the children, right? The kids watch the first I got a tooth over there that still ain't got pulled yet. Um, that about took my soul out my body just now. Woo! That tooth still alive though, boy. But um, mm. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Okay, so it's just like nigga, hey. So then Damien comes and he shows his stats or whatever case may be, saying, "Hey, I done made three million or whatever, some some stuff without YouTube, whatever case may be." Just just gloat and shit. I'm like, boy, shut the hell up. And then here come Corey. He's like, oh, well, congratulations, bro. I'm proud of you. Keep stacking your money. Nigga, who the fuck cares? That's how I know this shit fake. It ain't real. They just be doing so much. Like, if y'all want money, just say you want money. Corey, get. Y'all, <clears throat> it's not cocky for a nigga to speak about the money they make. Because if a nigga was saying they had $5. Then y'all be calling nigga broke. Or be feeling bad. It's not a cocky thing to do. I hate that people don't take it as motivation and they look at it as a cocky thing. I don't understand that. He gave me the response he wanted. And then here comes Daniel with these old ass messages from five years ago. Nigga, we don't give a fuck what y'all talking about five years ago. We don't care. Nigga, we trying to work. We're going to make it to 2023 with this COVID. And how many more strains is going to pop up out this motherfucker? You all them cousins in this family reunion, these motherfuckers is happy. Right. I don't see how everybody just not trying to survive. <laughs> what the fuck I'm doing? Well, I just want to survive. Okay? Child. You think we worry about what y'all talked about five years ago? I'm not even gonna read all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck what Corey said five years ago. I don't give a fuck what you said. Come on, somebody. I don't even think you remember what you... Why the fuck did you got messages from five years ago? Anyway, nigga, I have been through okay. three and four phones since five years Come ago. Come on, somebody. What the hell you still got your own messages gone. Messages. That's weird to me. But hey, if that's what you want to do, sis, do it. 
the gag is iPhone deleted. Like one time I looked up, iPhone deleted all my messages, all my old messages. And so did Instagram. But they would have been deleted anyway. I'm not, y'all. Then they share some old words. Corey do a little flip around with it. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Damien said what he said. I don't know. I really don't care because it's so petty and childish to me. Like, come on, you know. Corey is like, what, 21, 22. Damien's like 53. I... <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it is what it is. I cloud on me giving a goddamn. You didn't need that. We deleted it. <clears throat> on top of that, who you gonna call? Who you gonna beef with when the iCloud delete your shit? Dumb anybody. <laughs> wrong men. Stop bickering over the internet over some dumb shit. Fight it out, let it go, and move on. If one lose, you lose. If you're not gonna do shit about it, shut the hell up. We don't give a fuck who making money, how you making money. Just make your money. It's enough money out there for all oh y'all to make. Anyway, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Hey! Next one, Duck We have Rondo Rondo. Now, I told y'all he was going. Y'all know the magic word, no, the magic numbers. Come on, somebody. Please. I need the magic numbers. Thank you. Why, why, why? And to be honest, I ain't never heard nobody talking slow motion until I just heard him speak just now. I'm like, nigga, what the way he was, but. <laughs> Happy meal, get it together. That's the shit, honey. I see we have Indian young boy versus Coca-Cola. That's Mama Cola, because I think her name is like Arcola or Coca-Cola. Anyway, Coca-Cola. Right? Okay, baby, Mama Coca-Cola. Dana got into it because she made a little joke, and he didn't find her joke to be funny. So everybody's been doing the money challenge online lately, and she decided to do this one. It was a couple of quarters, and she said, NBA, where you at? It's 9 to 5 ain't enough. So she also put the hashtag, it's a joke, whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, baby, she had took Kentrell's son over there to go see him because he asked for the baby, but when she posted that, he told her to come back and get her child. And I'm like, why did you get mad at that? Because if you look at the hashtags, it says it's a joke, but I guess he didn't take it as a joke because, you know, everybody knows that Kentrell takes care of his kids. She goes on the internet and she says, the only reason I let the baby go the first time was because I don't want to feel like a bit of baby mama. You know how these girls and their kids go over there, boo, boo, boo. And then she was like, he also needs to know his daddy, but don't let that confuse you. He got some good uncle, a god daddy, and all these other father figures in his life. So he what, what? And also, he needed to know his dad, but I tried. When I was two uncles, his bonus uncle baby is there. Uh. Don't let that confuse you. He got some good uncle, a goddaddy, and all these other father figures in his life. So he, he got a lot of baby mamas and a lot of kids. And she saw the messages validating that he wanted the baby to come out there anyway. So he was like, hey, what you doing? Bring my son down. She's like, I got work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's like, okay, so you got COVID. I'm like, COVID? She gonna be out of work for about seven days if she tells she got COVID? He said, I don't care what... No, first of all, run me my check for my hours, and I will call out. Fuck. I'm telling you sick. You be out there. <laughs> That. But he want to see his son. If you want to see your son, you need to get up on that plane and get there. But you can't because you want house arrest for father. So you get to see him when you get to see him. So then she goes and posts, he's always been a bitter, fake-ass father of the year. If he's been a bitter, fake father of the year, then friend, why is you texting him? And why are you taking the child up there anyway? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, girl, stand behind your word and stand on it. So that's when she gets mad because he's telling her to come get the baby from the Airbnb, whatever the case may be. And she call him a weak-ass bitch every time you get mad. Take it out and go, children. You're beautiful. Just boop, boop, boop. And like, have to get mad. Bring my baby, dude. When you want me to bring him? Nah. <laughs> Take it out and go, children. You're beautiful. Just boop, boop, boop. And like, he want all this stuff. How you wanted to see him? And then, I ain't gonna lie. I would never want him around my baby. First of all, I would never have a baby by him. But I would never want him around my baby. He's so... That boy got a dark soul. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm. Poor babies. That's one thing I don't like. When people get mad at each other or couples get mad at each other, they say you're weak, pitiful, dick, fuck you, bitch. But like, you had a baby by this nigga. Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, after she showed the messages to the internet like he insisted her to do, child control was like, oh, I got something for you. He said, I don't know what type of internet games you playing, but I don't owe you shit. I didn't even want the baby with you. Damn. That's all I need to read to understand, bitch, he shut you up. When a man tell you he didn't want a baby with you, and you still had the baby. Okay. Obviously, y'all don't talk about this before. And you still had the baby. That shows that, girl, you know what? Mm -hmm. Text Jason. <laughs> Not even text him, text Jason when you get here. <laughs> oh my God. And she gonna say he's a manipulator, girl. No, he ain't manipulating you, girl. He told you not to have a baby. He told you he didn't want the baby. He's girl. He think he hurting me by saying he didn't want me to keep the baby, but then he turned around and tell me how he glad I did. Girl, niggas just say shit just to say girl, shit. Girl, he didn't girl. want that baby with His you. His first feeling was what he wanted. <coughs> he didn't want the baby friend. So he's not really manipulating. You're just blinded because you really do like this man. That's all it is, girl. You like him. When somebody show you who they are, believe them. I don't know. It is what it is. All right. Well, if it ain't about me. Next question, honey, I see we have Tristan Thompson. So Tristan decides that he wants to take to the internet and make a post about facing your demons. And I'm just like, nigga, you over there burning sage when you the demon. Okay, come on, somebody. You got to cleanse yourself first before you can go out here trying to cleanse the house. You need to get out of the house. Jesus Christ, this don't make no damn sense. So he took to that and he said, sometimes you don't realize your own strength until you face your greatest weakness. That's Hide true. from your demons and they'll slowly destroy your potential. Well, nigga, stop hiding from yourself. Nigga, put your dick in your pants. <clears throat> Y'all, I get it. Men want new pussy, right? Matter of fact, I don't get it. Because you know, every time they get upset or... <laughs> Every time they talk about pussy, don't they say it's the same? You just got you got the same box she got. You got the same box she got. Y'all pussy ain't no different. Pussy ain't no different. Then why y'all want new pussy so bad? Huh? Why, why, why? <coughs> why you want it so bad if it ain't so different? I don't understand. You got all them demons on you because you got you done been in all them vaginas. Okay? You got all them other niggas on you. Stupid ass. That's what you need to do. You know, and anyway, while we're talking about these quotes that he's doing, it's giving me very much Chloe. I'm catching vibes that they back together, or the gag is they never really broke up because mama never said anything publicly. Face them, and they could potentially become your greatest asset. Child. <laughs> A nigga who done lied. Yeah, I don't understand. Much and did the shit you did? You think I'm going to Fuck a vasectomy. He need to put the dick up. Pop a condom on. It's another reason why he got all them demons. Ain't even he ain't even putting the rubber over the dick. What could potentially kind of protect you a little bit? <laughs> you just going in that bear. Just nasty as the fuck. Like men can call women nasty all the time, but they nasty as just go up in any fucking thing. <sighs> No. Now this is a manipulator. <laughs> yeah, he a manipulator for sure. I know he be lying. If anybody not lying is gonna be a young boy, he gonna tell your ass the truth. <laughs> I sound country right now. My father. <laughs> Drake had a condom on, friend. Drake could put hot sauce in the... She was trying to retrieve the condom. 
He ain't had one to begin with. That's the difference. Drake is putting a condom over them golden arches. All right. Maggots. Excuse me, maggots in her vagina? <laughs> Friend, I'm eating. Maggots? In the pussy? Huh? Fighting condoms because you so ain't wearing them. Good God. Anyway, if you ask me, you ain't battling demons, you battling cheating. <laughs> And child, you cheating on them demons too. <laughs> All right, well, at least he went and saw the ladies. <laughs> okay. Woo, he ain't mad at demons. He got in hell. Yes, he is. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Hey! All right, y'all. Well, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First one, okay? We have FTM Bay and Dula. I don't know if y'all have been keeping up with this story. Who but is these I folks? Have, it is. Crazy, like, I don't know. So anyway, a few weeks back, she accused Oh, the girl was deceased. Come on now, y'all. What he did was he welded some nails together, allegedly, and put them up the child's anus. The child got scared. Oh, yeah, I'm a... B, took the nails outside, hit them, woo 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 He comes back, he finally tells the mama what happened. She got it on recording, but never Rissa, the Rissa, do not send that to me. I don't want to see that. I'm all right. This is one of them things I don't even need to be nosy on. I'm going to take your word for it. Hey, so Judy said that she had made the child say those things, practice it, and put it on the internet to try to, you know, assassinate his character, whatever the case may be. It was going back and forth. The internet was on her side because they're like, okay, the child is crying. How can a child come up with a story that is that vivid, whatever the case may be? Woo, woo, woo. She took a lie detector test. He didn't want to take one because he was like, I don't have to because I know I didn't do it. They end up on the court. He has a cease and desist order where she can't talk about it on the internet no more. It just get big and 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 Now that brings us to now. So, child, he finally takes a lot of text says he's telling the truth that he did not do these things. He didn't do that to the child. The child was making up a lie. Then the child goes and takes a lot of Texas tests, or whatever the case may be, and then the child's test comes back positive as well, saying that he made the story up because he was scared because he pooped on himself and he didn't want to get in trouble, so he made up this lie. That is what they're saying. <laughs> I don't know. So then now the mom comes back on the internet, and this is what she said. Yeah, so he just said it, whatever. So he just made. So, I'm going to publicly apologize and say that, you know, he finally took a lot of tech to text. It took a while. It didn't have to take so long. Like, I never was trying to ruin his career or yeah, you trying were. to get clout or nothing. I just, I just believe my son. I really believed him. And I just was going to do whatever I could. You're not crying. For my son. Like, I was going to slide for my son, whatever, however that means. Um... And, and you know he dealt with it in his own ways but um finally we came to an understanding and agreement and he decided to take the test and he did it and it's done it's over with he passed his test um, my son told the truth and um that's it that's all she wrote but um yeah i feel bad and it's not fair what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not fair. And I'm really, really genuinely sorry about that. Y'all. Hell, I'm scared to react to the Tasha K in uh, Cardi B situation. Tasha K going to be ready to sue anybody right now so she can <coughs> pay Cardi B her coin, baby. $1.5 million. Woo! I am. So, that's why I'm going to come on. Instagram I don't believe her at all. Honest, and I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not know. I mean, I, 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 looking at her and her actions and the way she's... I sure appreciate you, Kia, because Lord knows I don't want to see this shit. I don't think that I can him, but he... What did he do?
He was all right. What? After you saw him chasing Wesley, did you see him do anything else to Wesley? Um, he made him cry. Look, y'all. At the end of the day, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I forgive her. I forgive her. You feel me? I don't know. They gonna be I fucking. I got a forgiving heart tomorrow. It did. Like my kids, my family went through a lot. My team, all that, like, we went through a lot going through this situation. I just always want to um, show my innocence, you know? And a lot of people um, bashing us and stuff. Like, I ain't really into bashing it. I don't know. It's just like my heart different, but. My ble my blessings is like it's like my blessings always come. You get blessing. My blessings ain't stop. So I love y'all. Forget her. I feel him, but that's definition of character. She really could have ended <laughs> your entire career, possibly put you in jail for life. So then she comes back on the internet and she says that he did do these things and the child was just scared. I'm like, you know what? Is she going back on her word because she sees what all the people are saying? I want to believe her, but it's really hard right now. I don't know. This is a whole lot of, whole lot of this is a whole lot of mess. I uh, fucking for, uh, Larissa. I don't want to see it, friend. Hey, you, uh, don't worry about it. I don't want to see it anyway. It's the child. Because if it did happen, horrible. No, don't send it. it. Happen, don't send it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. You don't have to send it. I'm tell I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna open it. Nothing. I don't wanna see it. No, friend. Late. Because at the end he's gonna have to go through all this. It's traumatizing. That they're, they're putting this child through trauma. This story is deep. And you're making these children talk about it. Blaze, send it to Blaze. Blaze, I could kick you in your knee. Send it to Blaze. Don't send it to me. <sighs> Girl, I'm sick of this story. Okay, dear. So her ex who she was a lot of dear has just been mess I gotta see her. It's like Ariella, I'm gonna call her Ella. Anyway, not Ella. Ever since Dear and Ken broke up, it's been a whole lot of whole lot of dear has just been mess letting. We never knew what she was doing, who she was going, okay. nothing. Not well, honey, I guess when you get in that LGBT elemental P community, honey, all the <laughs> feeling. Anyway, so her ex makeup well. artist, which is Ella, came to the internet and she was alleging that Diera was trying to get I don't her see ex it. and also tried to have a threesome with them. And I'm just like, wait a minute, huh? So is this why her and Ken broke up because she didn't want Ken, she wanted Kendra? What the P? So the girl came. And she put this on her Instagram. Kara tried to have a threesome with me and my ex. I should have known them fried ass bitches. Then she goes on and she also says, hiding because they know how it looks. Woman up, bitch, you was woman enough to smile on my face. And whole time plotting on how to get my ex. Now I'm just like, okay, so let's calm down. All right. <laughs> okay. Calm down. Did you go off on your ex saying when you going off on Kara? <laughs> right? Just trying to get the cloud off her. First of all, y'all weren't friends. You was just a makeup artist. Let's make that clear. There's no Come on, somebody. <clears throat> Girl, y'all wasn't friends. If y'all was friends, y'all be together right now. <clears throat> and you wasn't her makeup artist because you was doing it for free. That is, she was like, I don't do nobody makeup for free. That's what the fuck. I'm trying to figure out how you, friend, you beat the shit out of Kayla Nicole face. Uh, y'all, makeup wise, okay? Pause. You did the hell out of Kayla Nicole face. Did good on the air too. I eat that ain't free. I don't. It's giving like, why was you giving free treatment? Why didn't you say no? I don't want the threesome. Why didn't you say no? You can't get in the bed with my bitch. But she wasn't really your bitch because you said she broke up. Y'all broke up before Miami. I am con in confusion. Look like my ties. You just do my makeup, bitch, and go. Period. But I get where she's coming from because you know there's some type of loyalty that well. Ain't no work for you, no. Ain't no type of loyalty, but if she did it, it still was wrong because I had some type of 
fun. We'll say that. We already know Dierra ain't gonna speak on nothing. She never speaks on nothing. She already had told us that this girl was her girlfriend. Is it true the girl with the dreams is your girlfriend? No, that's false. No, she's not my girlfriend. No. And I'm being really honest with y'all. Like, I ain't got to lie about nothing. So. When she said I'm being really honest and I ain't got to lie about nothing, y'all, my friend lying. No, that's a lie. She's not my girlfriend. Me. But <laughs> what y'all did ask was what y'all fucking around. It's a difference between fucking around and girlfriend. So I guess that's why she answered it like that. And now she showed some messages. Now, this is how I took the messages because people took it another way. They were saying the math wasn't napping or it ain't making sense. Come on, Zoe. Or it looked like the messages were deleted. But I gotta read it right. You gotta read it with how they're writing it. Laughing out loud. What is she doing in there? Watching the game? Diara? I think I haven't been in there yet. LOL. Lying. I'm gonna go sleep in their room. Was already in there, bitch. You mind? Nobody said anything. Here go Diara. You never answer. The girl put what? Question mark. She said, answer what? Diara said, read the text. Laugh my ass off. Then the girl gonna say, oh. Exactly. <laughs> then says sleeping with my bae. Girl, you heard what she said. But y'all, how is she your bae if y'all was broken up? This ain't adding up. It ain't adding up. <laughs> Sleep with my bae? And the Diara said, what? what? <laughs> then the girl said, mmm. The Diara gonna laugh. She said, Oh, who's that? <laughs> That's Pierre. The girl said, what the fuck, LOL, stop playing with me. Girl. Me and Diego gonna laugh. He said, I know you fucking lying. Like, girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, did anybody playing? Oh, so after Diego said, I know you fucking lying, I'm guessing Ari said, explain, LOL. And then she said, explain what, Ari? I'm gonna go sleep in K-Bed. What do you mean? That's another girl's gift. And then she said, LOL, why are you asking why mine if you go sleep in K-Bed? The fuck? I don't give a fuck. Because Jazzy in there too. And then she fixed her sleep. And then Diara says, it just gave me the hall pass. And I said, not the hall pass. Diara is a mess. Your mama is a Y'all know that. Y'all know she a mess. A freak. This is not and new. A hall pass. A hall pass for what? To go sleep in the bed with her girl? So I'm Girl, she said exactly what the fuck she meant. Because Ken, she, well, they, she said Ken then she. Or did they break up because Diara really wanted something new? I don't think Diara was innocent this whole relationship. I think she might have had her dimmer dabbing going on. Girl, they both was fucking with other people. And I think she just didn't get caught in her cheating and her fumbling around, but Ken did. And maybe that's why Ken was cheating. No, women always feel bad for women. <clears throat> Ken's stupid ass got caught. Because he already knew what was going on on the air side. He knew he couldn't please her no more. And so he did what he did. And everybody is upset with him for just doing his publicly when Diara was already doing her thing. And I think people need to forgive Ken because I do believe that they were already on a shutdown. Because mind you, I said it on Mr. Money a long time ago. He was not, she was not wearing that ring for a long time. Diara stayed with that ring on. She didn't wear that ring for a long time. Girl, like, they ain't fooling me. They can say that they weren't broken up and they weren't standing together for the YouTube and shit like that all they want to. These people be putting band-aids on stuff so y'all don't get mad. But I can't lie. If this is true, y'all be picking and choosing who y'all want to get mad at. Because I was trying to have, I was having a slight stroke trying to read those text messages, but I had People was mad at me saying that I was taking up for Ken. I wasn't taking up for Ken. He knew what the fuck he was doing. You know that you can. We know that you can. We all know that you can. So you knew if you grabbed the ass, it was a possibility for somebody to see it. He did that shit on purpose. I just feel like people ain't, y'all not looking at it for what it really fucking is. Like, I don't know. I had to kind of piece it together. But if Diara did do this, y'all wrong because y'all dragged Ken and his sneaky links and all that, but y'all letting them get away with it. Nobody wrong, Ken. It's still one rule, pimping. Don't get caught. <laughs> what 
the fuck are you doing, Ken? Leo? Leo men and Leo women is different. Because, Ken, what are you doing? Just grab ass in public. And I am who I am. <clears throat> yeah, these celebrities be fucking other people. <laughs> because y'all like her. Wrong is wrong is right is right. If that was that girl's girlfriend, Diera, over there fucking with him and trying to have threesomes. Ken shouldn't have never got caught. I, I don't care what no what none. <clears throat> Here's my thing. Ken did not get secretly recorded in a bedroom having sex with another person that was just right across from him. Ken went so far as to go into a whole entire restaurant party, whatever, and doing that shit in public. Ken, I cannot feel sorry for you. You did that in public. Did you actually think you as Ken would not? Did you think people would not see you? <laughs> I'm not understanding that part. You actually thought people wouldn't see you? Y'all, that's, that's crazy. So whatever the case may be, that's wrong, girl. You gotta let her know that that's wrong. And if I am reading this right, dear. Well, if he wanted out, he got what he time, wanted. Right? While she was still trying to fuck with the stud, while that stud was with that girl. You know what? Ooh, this is I don't know. messy, messy, messy. Anyway, well, I guess we gotta wait for the next episode of Off in the Spill the Tea from her friend Ivory. Okay. <laughs> okay, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next one, I guess we have the whole rap community against me. Now, Y'all know I love me somebody. Don't fuck with him. It is what it is. But I do love NLE and I love dirt, but bitch, I'm a rider for YB. So I'm gonna try to keep this real cool and non-judgmental and I ain't trying to fix sides, fix sides. But anyway, young boy came out with a song called Bring the Hook. Now I can't play it, but I will put up the lyrics and the words right here to show what made them mad. And what he said was, Old Block Pat get brought up every day, no cap. And baby. And that took all them into a frenzy. Mm -hmm. And honey, when I tell you he shook the internet, he shook the internet. And I ain't gonna lie, why he been quiet for a long time? And mind you, he's been locked up. People been dissing him while he was in jail. And then what makes it so funny is they're getting mad, but y'all was dissing <laughs> Tuka. No, cheating didn't make him a bad person. Getting caught dead. Y'all not getting it. Duh. It's still one rule, pimping. Wrong, but it's just like, hey, how can somebody do it but the other person can't do it? Anyway, the gag is they still ain't slid though. So let's keep it moving. That's when Dirk came out with a picture beside Von with money and the stuff, all that. Woo -woo -woo. He said, don't claim it. If you ain't do it, you still a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, sir. What is happening? And so that's what Academic said, oh my God, why he's on demon time? And he dropping a whole tape on Friday. That's when Lil Reese pop out the cut. And he said, that ain't no demon time. He just rapping like the rest of these rappers. I'm just like, oh, if you push the button, just say it. Why they get so mad? But again, like I said, OTS. Lil Reese need to shut his ass up. I'm sure he is sick of getting shot and ran over and hit by cars and hit by rocks and getting knocked over by mountains. He hasn't died yet, but God knows I don't want him to die, but damn. How many life and death situations and voice boxes you got to lose and fingers and, and limbs to know that you just might not need to jump in this? God damn. That has been shady, young boy. You know what I'm saying? Since like, Yo, case if I was him, I was in jail. So it's like, relaxed. I get why young boy doing this. He like, nigga, now it's my time. It's my time to do this. So. <laughs> I don't want to take too much of these things. It's crazy. And I'm not trying to get popped off. That. <laughs> that. Lil Reese, my fault. I ain't even mean that shit, cuz. Please don't kill me. But all I'm saying is, Reese, come on now for real. Like, how many, boy, <laughs> how many times you got to almost die to know that I don't want to almost die no more? Oh, but they be. So, bitch, I don't care what y'all do. What y'all Niggas don't be giving a fuck. They be like, I die by mine, nigga. But the thing is, you ain't dying. Who the hell want to keep going through pain? God, I got shot in the neck. Lost a voice box. Got shot some other time. Survived. Fucking stabbed. Rolled over by cars. Running over mountains. I just... Dodging rocks. I just don't think... 
<laughs> he should get into anything. He just should not be speaking. Well, hell, he probably okay with it because he know he's going to survive. Okay. We already knew who was going to come tiptoe out, and I understand why, because that's her brother, and you got the right to do that. But it's like, girl, these men, let these men be. You worry about all the girls you don't fuss with and ain't caught yet. Don't claim if you ain't do it, you still a bitch. And I'm like, we already saw that <laughs> on Derek's page. So why you copy and paste it? Girl, just hush sometimes. That's when NLE came out, and he was like, you know, he stepped in on what Lil Reese said, saying it wasn't no demon time. But I'm like, Inelie, why would you even say something? First of all, you used to be a fan of him, child. And then you had that whole Free Young Boy song on YouTube. So, like, what is you talking about? Like, if you just want to ride this wave, then you say that. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Anyway, but why he did say they're going to pick up, child. He said that. Everybody won't stop. I thought Inelie was out here staging and doing evil and spiritual and talking to the waters and making it move and part of the sea. What's happening? Why did he get this mixed <laughs> okay. up? Because he told us he was changing and positive and you know what uh, people gonna say i'm happy all of us motherfuckers fine as hell people be ugly as fuck starting from their mama they um grandmamas and their kids and that's when star come out y'all know when star come out and talk it's some shit because star don't ever say nothing she don't get no drama she don't do nothing she let shit slide whatever then they be getting the women involved women dying whatever, whatever it is what it is and then y'all they didn't even stop there that's when susa came out and she said yeah he on house arrest but your brother will never be in the house again. Yeah. I'm not fucking with these people. These people crazy. I'm not fuck I don't even want to talk about the story no more because I don't need them coming to my house. I, I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. These folk is saying some shit that you're not supposed to say. And, okay. said, and what did you do about that dead body? Shut the fuck up. You know what? Wait a minute, what? Oh, my bad, y'all. Two days. I don't need them coming to my house. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. These folk is saying some shit that you're not supposed to say. And she said, Y'all better stay in her place. He on house arrest and your brother will never be in the house again. And what you did about that dead body, man. And what did you do about that dead body? Shut the fuck up. You know what? Okay. <laughs> This a whole different type of shit here. Yeah. I, I don't even get down like that. You know, I think you're a little one too, but I don't even get down like that. Okay. Ooh, you know what? Let's just keep it on moving. So then yeah, Kayla come out, she started talking a whole lot, a whole lot of talking about how he used to go and tell Asian everything. Yeah, Lee, he goes on to like a podcast, every case may be, and he speaks on why he said he stamped what Lil Reese said. See what you meant by that? What does that mean? Break it down for me. Uh, pretty much, I was just agreeing with what he said because um, at the end Thank of the day, like I said, it's certain things that nobody's right or nobody's wrong in my opinion. But you know what I'm saying I know what's right with me, and I don't know like who I stand with and who I support. Like and when you speak on certain situations that you really don't have nothing to do with, or you didn't, you wasn't in that position, and somebody lost their life because you know what I'm saying somebody was trying to put a gun down. And have a square, you know what I'm saying, a simple fight, and you, you glorify certain things that was a snake move at the end of the day, wasn't wrong or right because you're protecting your brand at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But still, it's just certain things you don't glorify if you wasn't there, if you wasn't in the space, and if you might do something. That's you know? a fact. So it's just certain things you respect at the end of the day. Um, maybe I know what's your fantastic artist. One. God damn, boy, you talk to him. He was one friend, and if one of my friends end up, you know, getting into a situation and passed away and somebody said something, I'm going to speak to for my friend. So I understand both sides, but like you said, if it had nothing to do with you and you was not there, then don't speak. So baby, Bobby came out with a song, Deadly, and it went off on Italy. And I'm just like, they're going to learn, don't fuck with Ty. You just don't fuck with him. He don't give no fuck about what he say. He don't care. That man don't care. I don't think that man's scared of death. I don't think he even gives a shit. And when somebody don't give a shit about death, that you can't do or say anything to them. And child, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Vaughn. Vaughn definitely uh, was not the most innocent man on, on, the, on this planet. So, 
you know, it kind of is what it is on that one. Mm-hmm. And then, baby, after he put that um, diss out, he really changed that free young boy to fuck young boy. <laughs> I said, ah, oh, my God. No, no, he ain't bad. But anyway, child, this is a hard hard. This is nasty. I hope everything get cool. Then um, NBA Young Boys Management said that he would be gone for six months until he drops a song or everything, until he drops his album. So I hope this just gives him peace and time to cool down because he done fuck some shit up, you hear me? Anyway, well. All right, uh. She see what I put a bang. <laughs> like I be telling y'all, if the Balenciaga fit, wear it. And he came for the girls and they wear it. Anyway, mm, I didn't know a man who wore makeup to get y'all this mad. <laughs> I'm about to say, Zoe better chill out before that boy, before they come looking for his ass. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm done with this video, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell, yeah.